I love my country. I love the whole idea of America. I was raised to love my country. And there's a lot to love as I was coming up as a boy. But I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if I am honest with myself, I would have to say that I believe Russia already has every right in the world to launch a first strike annihilation attack on America. We have tried three times to destroy Russia's economy. The first time was back when they pulled that Russia collusion hoax, which was manufactured by the Hillary Clinton for President campaign after she lost the election. But Congress enacted very real sanctions on Russia. Sanctions designed to destroy their economy. They failed. We tried a second time when the Russian army began its special military operation into Ukraine. We tried a third time when we started seizing Russia's sovereign wealth funds, when we started seizing the property of wealthy Russians simply because they were Russians. These were acts of war. These economic sanctions, this restraint of trade, I think these were acts of war by the United States against Russia. And I want to hearken you back to World War II. What caused Japan to attack the United States? It was economic sanctions. Think about this. Let's reverse things a minute. If any nation on this planet did to us what we are doing right now to Russia, we would have declared war on them. And yet, people within our federal government operate as if, well, there's nothing anyone can do about it because we're the United States and we are the be-all and end-all of everything. We make reality and we decide everything in the world. That's the attitude. But if you stop and look at the God's honest truth of what our country, America, has become, I would have to say, if I'm honest with myself, that I think America has become the greatest force for evil on this planet. We have been exporting nothing short of satanic ways all over the earth. Abortion, sexual perversion, pornography, just to name a few. If the good Lord uses Russia to do to us what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah, I will regret the paths our nation took. But I will say amen to Almighty God's judgment on us. America has every other nation on earth beat hands down for promulgating evil and wickedness worldwide. We have become the most satanic nation on the planet. Look look at the evidence is right in front of you. We have a demonic pedophile in the highest office of the land. His vile family and the conspirators around him are destroying 
the last vestiges of America. No nation on this planet is as arrogant and bullying as America. What gives America the right to dominate the planet? Besides the dollar stranglehold on the world economy and the military might we built on money stolen from future generations. I have nothing left but utter disgust for the morally and financially bankrupt cesspool that my government has become. There's almost nothing diabolical in the whole world that doesn't come from the U.S. I'll be back right after this brief timeout. Your daughter doesn't want to talk about why her room is a horrible mess. Your son doesn't want to talk about why he's wearing mismatching socks. Your spouse doesn't want to talk about their bad haircut. Families don't have to talk about everything, but they should talk to plan for an emergency. Pack basic supplies in a go bag, water, canned food, flashlights, batteries, medical supplies, IDs, and some cash. Talk about where you'll meet in case you lose one another. And of course, don't forget to pack the dog treats. Talk to your family and make an emergency plan. Go to nyc.gov slash readyny or call 311 to make your family's emergency plan. Brought to you by New York City Emergency Management and the Ad Council. Nine forty six PM, Hal Turner back with you. Yep. I have nothing left but utter disgust for the morally and financially bankrupt cesspool that the federal government of this country has become. There is almost nothing diabolical in the world community at the moment that does not come from the United States. Folks, the United States has become a woke cesspool of third world slums, meth or heroin junkies, rabid feminists, and neutered femboys. Am I really supposed to care if 90% of that is annihilated in a nuclear fire? And then people say, but, but, my freedom, America, fuck yeah. Well, that place has been dead for a long time. And maybe it's time for its rotting carcass to be put on a funeral pyre. Now, I can hear what you're saying. Well, I re- the American government, maybe, but not the American people. Most of us are good, hardworking, decent humans. Yes, that's true. But we are the exception to the rule. We, the good, hardworking, decent human beings, are now the exception to the rule. It was true, you know, back in the 50s and 60s, but it seems to me, and I may be wrong, that America is gone with the wind. I look out my door, but the America I see today is in total moral collapse. There's no sense in going through the litany. I think the nation is totally bankrupt, politically, culturally, socially, financially. And by the way, if you think everything is, well, basically okay, then you are either brain dead or a very evil person yourself. You know, the taxpayers of this country are always being fleeced. We have more oil than any other country. You factor in the shale. Yet our government is destroying this country on purpose. This illegitimate president, Joe Biden, turns out he's selling our strategic petroleum reserves 
to Hunter's, his son's Chinese company. Because Hunter and his father, Joe, are compromised. And let's let's call a spade a spade here. The reason Biden and his Dr. Jill wife have no choice but to play along is because they can get blackmailed. They're compromised in many ways. Not just the underage hookers and the cocaine, but the business deals. And they're not just greedy. They're on board with the new world order. Now keep asking myself, how long is it going to take for Americans to wake up? And I've come to the sad conclusion, probably never. Because the Marxists in the public school system have ensured that several generations of Americans are stupid as shit. And that's where we are, in my view, this 12th day of July, 2022.